Welcome my dear friends. In this video we are going to fix an error that says, failure when attempting to copy boot files. We already have a nice detailed video in our channel, on how to fix boot issues. Under that video, many users have reported that they get failure when attempting to copy boot files. Especially when they try to run bcd boot command. So we have decided to add this video. This topic is going to be little advanced, so please pay good attention, and most importantly please do not skip. Boot Configuration Data Store, shortly known as BCD Store, is the place where startup files required to load windows are kept. This BCD store can get corrupted or deleted accidentally. As a result, you encounter boot-related errors. That is when bcd boot command comes as a savior, it copies the boot files from your installed Windows drive and recreate the corrupted or deleted bcd store. These are the most widely used options in bcd boot command. And mostly people make mistake in these two options. For example, sources not always see colon windows, it could be something else for your PC, especially when you are inside recovery environment. Similarly system partition is not always s. If you pass these values wrong, then you are expected to get failure when attempting to copy boot files. Let me show you how to find exact drive letters for these two options in your PC. Let's start with source. Please open command prompt. And go to disk part. List disk. Based on size please identify your OS disk. In my case it is disk 0. So I'm typing select disk 0. List volume. Now after ignoring the installation disk, these are possible Windows volumes. Some of you might have already identified the drive letter for your Windows volume based on size. But still let's double check. Please make a note of these drive letters, preferably in a small paper. Exit from disk part. Now use dir space, followed by one of the drive letters noted, then a backslash. Repeat this step until you see Windows and Program Files. Please note down the drive letter where you see Windows folder and use the same as the source of the bcd boot command. Now let's see what drive letter we should use after slash s as a system partition. Little understanding of MBR and GPT is required here. These are basically partition styles. At high level, MBR is the old method and GPT is the new advanced partition method. And another major difference that's more related to our problem. The system partition of MBR is NTFS file system, it can be a separate volume or in some installations it could be the same volume where Windows is installed. As far as GPT is concerned, it is strictly FAT32 file system, and it should be a separate volume away from Windows volume. So let's go ahead and check what your partition style is first. Get into disk part. List disk. If you see star symbol over here then your disk is GPT. If you don't see a star then you have MBR disk. Let's look at GPT case first. Please go ahead and list volume. You should see a FAT32 volume. In a worst case, if you do not see FAT32, but you are pretty sure that you have GPT disk. Then please use these commands one after another. These commands basically shrinks your existing volume and creates a new FAT32 volume. Let's assign a drive letter to the FAT32 volume. We are all set to use this drive letter in our BCD boot command as a system partition. Please exit disk part. Key in the command that we finalized with write parameters. You can use all or UEFI which is more appropriate since we are now working on GPT disk. As you can see, I'm now able to execute the command successfully. 
Even if you get some errors, I suggest you to run the command again with slash V option, which might give you more details about the error. Let's now move on to MBR disk scenario. This is altogether another PC. As you can see, my OS disk has no star under GPT. That confirms that it's MBR disk. As we've seen already, in MBR, your system partition can either be a separate volume, or the same volume where your Windows is installed. Let's go ahead and list volume. Over here, please check if you have a separate system partition volume. If you do not have, maybe your Windows partition is the system partition. Once you finalize your system partition, you should now ensure that the same has been set as active partition. Please select the volume that you believe is system partition. Use detail partition command. Over here you should see active yes. If you do not see, then please set it as active. You just need to type active and hit enter. Also double check if drive letter is assigned, if not please assign drive letter using this command. Just ensure that this drive letter is not being used for other volumes. Please exit disk part. Please go ahead and use the same drive letter in your bcd boot command after slash s as a system partition. You can either use all, or to be more specific you can use BIOS for MBR based PCs. As you can see, I'm now able to execute the command successfully. I hope this video helped you. If you face any questions or challenges, please add your comments below, I'll definitely respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.